sequestration is the addition of carbon in the soil. Um, organic matter is what gives the soil structure and so it allows the soil to drain and it also holds the nutrients in the soil. Um, organic matter also holds water. It can hold several times its weight in water. And so the, the more carbon that we leave in the soil, either from the plants sloughing off roots or from the animals depositing waste, um, that, that becomes a permanent part of the soil until we then go in and cultivate it and plant a new crop. So what we're doing here is using a perennial pasture plant, bird's foot trefoil. And if we were feeding these animals grain, we would be using annual crops. And with an annual crop, you're either using herbicides to get rid of weeds or you're cultivating the soil every year. And as soon as you cultivate the soil, you undo the carbon sequestration. So the longer you can leave a crop on the soil, the more perennial it is, the more carbon you can sequester, at least temporarily. The other thing that the bird's foot trefoil is able to do is suppress the amount of nitrogen that is in the most volatile parts of the waste and put nitrogen into the parts of the waste that are incorporated more readily into the soil as organic matter. And organic matter is really where carbon sequestration occurs. A lot of times people think about carbon sequestration as a mechanism to mitigate climate change. But for the great number of landowners in Utah and also in many other states, what's probably more interesting is the ecological benefit associated with carbon sequestration. So uh, land management practices that have a carbon benefit can also help improve soil quality. For example, it will in increase soil organic matter and it will increase the overall health of the soil, which will also increase the uh, infiltration capacity of the soil and the water storage, water holding capacity of the soil. All of this will contribute to um, better uh, plant growth and the increased quality for forage, um, overall land health, and all of this will also contribute to the economic um, viability of the ranching operations and agricultural production.